That's certainly not a real voice. Rather, it's an AI generated for entertainment purposes. And frankly, its accuracy is quite commendable. I have seen a video in which I am singing. And I am also seeing what I am singing. And I am also seeing what I am singing. And I am also seeing what I am singing. While the legality around such uses is still unclear, imagine receiving a call from someone you know. They are in an emergency and asking you for money. Would you help? Well, something similar happened to a Lucknow resident who was tricked out of 45,000 rupees by a cyber thug impersonating his relative's voice using AI. Today, it hardly takes a couple of minutes to clone someone's voice thanks to all free voice cloning platforms available online. The alarming part is that you don't actually need any verification before cloning someone else's voice. Just a snippet of their audio file which can be obtained from any video or voice call. And unfortunately, cyber thugs are making the best use of it. Scammers use AI to mimic family members in distress and Indians are falling for such scams. A McAfee's report indicates that more than half of Indians believe they cannot differentiate between an AI voice and a real one. AI voice cloning has also expanded to music where technology creates songs with vocals indistinguishable from popular artists. We have seen reels with songs sung by popular Indian politicians. So what's the way out? Of course, we do need a stringent law around the use of AI. But on an individual level, awareness is necessary. Always cross-check before sharing your personal information. For more such news views and insights, follow and subscribe to Business Standard.